Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we're gonna be talking about my favorite makeup products for the year 2018. I do have just a little bit of battery life, so hopefully we can get through all of this before my battery dies. Before we begin the video, I'd love to invite you to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Be sure to add me on all of your other social media platforms. I will link my handles down below. And also be sure to hit the notification bell so that you are notified whenever I make a brand new upload. So we'll go ahead and start with a primer. Um, I did get this in a Sephora play box um, and the cool thing about Sephora Playbox or the subscription services is that you can try out some products and sometimes they'll last you a very long time, like this Pores No More Pore Refiner Primer. This is the primer that I am wearing here along my T-zone. This does have a little bit of a tint to it as well. I'm going to try to show you guys. And I really like how it just kind of fills in my pores without it feeling too dimethicone-y. And yeah, a little bit goes a very long way. It just kind of smooths over the skin. And I've really been enjoying this for 2018. When I was much younger, I didn't use any like pore filling or smoothing primers. I used more hydrating primers. But because um, I'm aging, I feel like I do need to fill in my pores because my collagen levels are um, going down. So I've really been enjoying this primer. I have been enjoying this primer underneath these three foundations for the year 2018. First, I have the Dior Backstage Face and Body Foundation. This is my summer shade. This is the shade 3N. I love um, how lightweight this foundation is and I do like that it comes in like a dropper kind of bottle that you can squeeze. And I love applying the Dior Backstage Face and Body Foundation with the Morphe M439 brush. This typically lasts all day. I don't have any issues with it. I don't have any issues with it disappearing at all. Um, it just lasts on my skin all day no matter how busy I am at work. The combo that I have been loving is this one. Um, I've been loving the Makeup Forever Ultra HD mixed with the Matte Velvet Skin Foundation. You have seen me use this combo numerous videos and that is the combo that I'm wearing on the skin today. I love applying these two foundations with my beauty blender and I feel like no matter what, just as with a Dior foundation, it lasts all day. It doesn't crease, it doesn't fall off, it doesn't disappear throughout the day at all. It just looks very uh, beautiful. It's not heavy. It's not too cakey. Sometimes I will do more than just one layer, especially here along the chin, and we're good to go. Um, as far as concealers, this was a 2017 favorite as well. This is the ColourPop No Filter Concealer. Uh, my shade currently is medium 28. And I love using this concealer as a base for eyeshadow or um, as a concealer here beneath the eye area on a day-to-day -day basis when I don't have a lot of under eye circles or a lot of puffiness going on. This is a new favorite, but this is the Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. This is in the shade Natural Beige, and this is actually the concealer that I am wearing today. I have been loving this. I feel like this might be better, at least on my skin, uh, than the Tarte Shape Tape. I feel like I am sick. I feel horrible, but my eye area here looks great. So I've really, really been enjoying this as well. For brows, this is again a 2017 repeat, but this is the ColourPop Brow Boss. This is what I am wearing on my brows today. This is my go-to brow product for everyday brows, and I have been using it literally year-round. I have used maybe like 20 of these since they, uh, first came out and I just can't get enough. I just love this. It's inexpensive. You do have to wait a couple days to get it in the mail. Um, but I do use the shade Dark Brown and I, I love this. I have like, how many backups? I have three backups, so 
Another product that I got in a Sephora play box that I have been loving is the Benefit Gimme Brow. I didn't know how good this stuff was, but this I have the shade 5, and I'm also wearing this with the ColourPop Brow Boss. And I just love how this just makes everything stay in place. Um, and it kind of gives you a little bit more of a bushy kind of natural brow look, which is what I go for. And I just saw that they have minis available at Sephora.com, so I'm going to go ahead and purchase one and keep on using that in 2019. For setting powder, my favorite of them all was the Hourglass Veil Translucent Setting Powder. Um, I love using this to set the concealer with this hourglass brush. I feel like it just makes my under eye area look amazing. It's not heavy at all. It just sets my under eye concealer very, very well. It's finely milled. I feel like this, you know, is hit or miss on a lot of people. Like a lot of people either like it or a lot of people either uh, hate it or love it. Um, and I'm one of those that loves it. For bronzers, I do have a repeat from 2017, the ColourPop bronzer in California. What is this? ColourPop bronzer in Afternoon Delight. I mean, you see me use this in videos as well. And then another favorite is the Urban Decay Beached Bronzer, which, you know, I've hit pan on as well. I feel like essentially they are the same shade. So this is Urban Decay. And this is the ColourPop bronzer. ColourPop and this is Urban Decay. So this is a little bit deeper. Um, but these were my go-to's. For blush, I feel like I didn't wear a lot of blush in 2018, but if I did, I was wearing this little guy. And this is the ColourPop uh, Pressed Blush in Excuse My French. And this is just a beautiful, beautiful peachy shade. It's what I'm wearing on my cheeks today. So I'm swatching that right over here for you. Actually, that is not what I'm wearing today. I'm wearing a Becca one today. But it's just a lovely shade of peach for your cheeks. For highlighters, I do have three. And this is a repeat from 2017. And, I mean, you've seen me use this a lot. And if you have it, this is an amazing highlighting palette. But these two are the shades that I use the most. And this is what I'm wearing uh, today. So these are the two shades that I love to wear swatched right here for you. I love using this palette with the Morphe R36. I think that's what it is. My other favorite highlighter is the Dose of Colors Desi Katie collab in Fuego. And this is a little bit of a drier formula as far as um, a highlighter and that is that shade right over here, but I still love it And this is just a beautiful kind of golden champagne peachy Highlighter and then another one that I loved was uh, from the Kathleen Lice and Colourpop collab This is the Super Shock Cheek uh, Pearlized in the shade Fire and I'll swatch that next to the Katie collab. So this is a little bit more golden than the Fuego one by Katie. So I loved pairing these two together. That was, this is a beautiful, beautiful combination. So yeah, those were my favorites for highlighters. For eyes, I do have a couple of ColourPop singles that I really enjoyed using when I, you know, wore like dramatic eye looks. This is the ColourPop Super Shock Shadow in Lightning Bug. I'm going to swatch that right here. So that is a Lightning Bug. 
This is a glittery golden copper and this just looks amazing all over the lid as well. This is more uh, glittery and kind of more metallic. This is a lovely, lovely shade that I really enjoyed in 2018. And then this, which I wore at Coachella and I think for New Year's. This is the shade Three's a Cloud. This is a Super Shock Shadow Ultra Metallic. So those are like really coppery kind of golden tones for you, which I love. This is a rich amber gold. And typically I love to wear this as the focus or all over the eyelid and just kind of smoked out with my favorite crease shade. And this is a recent favorite, but this is the Natasha Denona Mini Star Palette. I feel like ever since I filmed that kind of first impressions video, I have been reaching for this a lot. I've been reaching for these two shades a lot whenever I do kind of like a smoky eye. So these are our favorites. Um, I plan on purchasing more Natasha Denona eyeshadows in 2019. You know, I do love ColourPop and they're super inexpensive and very reliable products. So I'm gonna say that my favorite eyeshadow palettes came from ColourPop. I feel like the Sheila Perception palette was great. I still reach for this Yes Please ColourPop palette and I'm wearing a ton of shades from the Give It To Me Straight palette and this was a recent favorite of mine, the Zodiac palette. <clears throat> this is what the Perception palette looks like. Lots of beautiful, beautiful shades. Yes Please. And then Give It To Me Straight which has got all of your rosy, kind of mauve tones, which I'm gravitating a lot towards. It's crazy. I never thought I would gravitate towards rosy tones, but here we are for mascaras. I'm going to say that the Too Faced Better Than Sex was a favorite of mine uh, for 2018. I love this wand so much. I've used a number of of these mascaras, number of tubes. But this was a 2018 release and I've used two of these minis and this is the Milk Makeup Kush Mascara. Love, love the wand in this as well. The formula is just amazing. It really holds the curl, it separates my lashes love. For falsies, I was definitely reaching for the Ardell Demi Wispies, as you can tell. Do have to order more, and these are the same lashes that I'm wearing today. I do just love a natural lash. Uh, maybe in 2019, I will reach for a more bolder lash, but I feel like in 2018, if I was wearing a lash, it was an Ardell lash. Let's talk about some lips. I feel like uh, my favorite lipsticks came from ColourPop. So I'll show you some of my favorite shades. These are, of course, mostly nudes. Um, so this is broken, but I did order a new one. But this is in the shade Third Eye. So I'll swatch that here. This is a mid-tone pinky beige. I absolutely love this shade. I'm so upset that my shade is currently broken and it just fell on the floor as I was trying to do the swatch, so I can't use that anymore. But this is typically my go-to for an everyday. And then this is the What's Your Sign. This is a creme finish and this is from the Kathleen Lights ColourPop collab. So that is What's Your Sign. And this is a neutral, a light neutral nude. And this is also a go-to for me. I just love these two shades so much. This is the shade Appy, which I'm wearing on my lips right now. Appy is a pinky beige. Love this shade as well. Then I have the shade Layover, which I'm wearing on my lips as well, right over here. Layover is described as a medium rosy beige, and I think that is in the creme formula. And then my favorite bold lip was on display, which I will just swatch right over here. It's the red. And this was a bright 
pinky red. All very beautiful shades. These were definitely my go-tos for 2018. I feel like you have to give this formula a chance. These run for about seven, seven dollars a piece. Very inexpensive high quality cruelty free ColourPop luxe lipsticks that are made in the USA. These are definitely a favorite and I will continue to probably purchase more shades in 2019. So that was kind of like my favorite lip formula for 2018. All of these luxe lipsticks by ColourPop and they're both in a matte or a creme finish. For setting sprays I do have the MAC Fix Plus and the Urban Decay All Nighter. Those were the two that I reached for a lot in 2018. To end with two hair products, I have the Way Scalp and Body Scrub. I use this at least twice a week to remove any buildup from like dry shampoo. And I have the Way Leave-In Conditioner, which I use to help make my hair brushing after a shower um, a little bit less painful. Those two were my two kind of hair care favorites for 2018. I know that I just kind of breezed right on through all of these products, but I am literally like running out of battery life and memory space on my memory card. But I do hope that you enjoyed this video um, and do let me know what your favorite makeup products in the year 2018 were in the comment section down below. I'd love to know. And thank you all for watching this video and thank you all for your continued support in 2018 and I hope to see more of you all in 2019. So thank you all for watching and I will see you all in my next video. Bye. Hi everyone and welcome 